Welcome to Electron Online and in this next example we're going to find the area bounded by these two functions. So let's go ahead and graph them to see what that looks like. So the first function looks like it's a parabola that opens upward. It's 1 4 x squared, that means it kind of opens up, upward. It opens widely like this, so the function probably looks like this. And then the next one is a, a straight line, y equals x, like that. So that would be a straight line at a 45 degree angle and it probably looks like that and notice that the two functions are going to cross at the origin and they're going to cross up here somewhere and so let's find the x value of the place where they cross so we're going to set those two equations equal to each other so we have one quarter x squared equals x so multiply both sides by 4 we get x squared is equal to 4x move this over the other side we get x squared minus 4x equals 0 and then factor out x we get x times x minus 4 equals 0 which means x equals 0 is a root and x equals 4 is a root now the x equals 0 we already found it's right here 0 0 and then x equals 4 I shouldn't really call them a root that's where the two equations cross so there is x equals 4 and since y equals x that means oh, I wanted to write 4 here x equals 4 that means y is equal to 4 as well so the two lines cross at 0, 0 and at 4, 4 and what we're trying to do is find the area between these two. Now in this case, notice that if we set up our, our, D, our area element vertically, that works just fine because we have the top always equal, uh, always bounded by the straight line and the bottom always bounded by the parabola. And notice that you can also do it sideways because in every case the left side will be bounded by the line and the right side will be bounded by the parabola. So in this case it doesn't really matter if your area element is vertical or horizontal. Matters not. So we might as well pick it vertical, doesn't matter. So there's my small little area element, dA. And my dA is equal to the height which would be equal to y2 minus y1. So that would be y2 minus y1 times the width which would be dx so here's my small little area element now what are y2 and y1 equal to y2 is the upper limit which is bounded by the straight line so i'm going to call this y2 and the bottom is my parabola so this is y1 it's always a good idea to use those notations so you know which functions you're dealing with now I'm going to find the area and the area is going to be equal to the sum which means the integral of all my da's I'm going to integrate from x equals 0 to x equals 4 so x equals 0 to x equals 4 and that's equal to the integral from 0 to 4 of y2 minus y1 times dx notice I have y's and x's under the same integral sign that means I have to find the x equivalent of these two functions so y2 that would be equal to x y1 would be equal to 1 quarter x squared so that becomes the integral of y2 which is x minus y1 which is 1 quarter x squared times dx and the limits are from 0 to 4 and I'm ready to integrate when I integrate this I get x squared over 2 I add 1 to the exponent divide by the new exponent when I integrate this I get minus a quarter x cubed over 3 again I add 1 to the exponent subtract by the new exponent and I evaluate it from 0 to 4 when I plug in the upper limit I get 4 squared divided by 2 minus when I plug in the lower uh, oh I'm not done yet I'm still plugging the upper limit I get 4 cubed divided by 3 so I plug 4 in for x here I plug in 4 in for x there then when I subtract then I want to plug in the lower limits I need to subtract that but notice if I plug in a 0 here and a 0 there I simply get 0 so it's minus 0 plus 0 so let me continue to simplify this so what do we have here we have 4 squared at 16 divided by 2 which gives me 8 and that would be minus okay 4 cubed is 64 divided by 4 which is 16 divided by 3 so I get 16 divided by 3 if I want to solve that I have to put over the same denominator so 8 is the same as 24 divided by 3 minus 16 divided by 3 and 24 minus 16 is equal to 8 divided by 3 and there's the area between those two equations 8 over 3 
So that was fairly straightforward. And again, you could do it like this. You can have an area element set up like that. Of course, when you do that, your limits are going to go from y equals 0 to y equals 4. But you, you should get the same result either way. And that's how we do that.